Hello friends, welcome to another Marvel Champions live stream. Today we are doing a hero spotlight for none other than the Spider-Man, Peter Parker, the original Spider-Man from the core box. And so I am really excited to dive into this hero spotlight because Spider-Man is actually one of my favorite characters in the game. And I'm really enjoying this series because even though he is one of my favorite characters in the game, we have so many characters at this point that, hey, girl guy, how you doing? that I haven't played him in a while. I really have not sat down and gotten to play a game with Spider-Man in months. And so it, it's gonna be really fun to kind of sit back and you know dive through, play four games with him and let's go. Hey, Maddie, how's it going? Yep, thematic matchup. So speaking of the matchup, I had been just kind of determining the setups randomly or the matchups randomly, but I have changed that. I am actually putting out surveys on YouTube and so people are then voting for who I am playing. So that's kind of that's kind of how this came to fruition. Strange Solution, hey, how you doing? Welcome. I ran into your YouTube channel because of the Arkham Horror, but I love this game too. They're both great games. I am happy to have you here. Welcome. Strange Solution, yeah, <laughs> I love it too. It's great. Let me fix my webcam because it's just gonna bother me if I don't. I don't know if that's gonna be any better, but we're gonna we're gonna call it better. Anyways, okay, so it's not really. I'll fix it in a break. Okay, so we are gonna dive into Spider-Man, and Spider-Man is kind of the first hero that they tell you to play, I think, in the in the core rulebook. And so so he is fairly straightforward, but a lot of the cards that have come out have really upped his complexity and upped his power level to a pretty, pretty you know, he, he's definitely a very good hero. And so let's take a look at his kit real quick. So he has two web shooters, which if uh, if you're if you're playing through the, the newer heroes, then you, you've seen these in Miles kit. But it's a it's a resource generator to wild resource generator. I used to put Arkham Horror videos on YouTube, but got burnt out and have not done it in years. That is where the name come from. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's uh, it can it can it can be a lot, but excellent who uh what's what's your favorite investigator uh actually you know what there there are a lot of investigators what's your favorite campaign for arkham horror so web shooters helps us pay for things we've got enhanced spider sense that says when a treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck then you get to cancel its win revealed effects which is excellent you've got black cat which is his signature ally who is not doesn't look that great until you realize she does not take consequential for her attack um I wonder if you've played a lot of Seekers, strangely. <laughs> um, then we've got one of the cards that has done a lot for the math of this game. Hey, Trapit, how's it going? Spider-Man for the win. Yeah, we are. We're diving into Spider-Man. He is hitting the table today. But Swinging Web Kick is one of these that has kind of defined a lot of the cost for cards going forward. It's a three cost for eight damage, which is right there, kind of... A little bit above the cost curve but it's a you know it's a solid especially when venom has 16 health or 17 health on stage one this you know this is half of that so that's great i love playing uh strange solutions i love playing seekers in general daisy is probably still my favorite but carcosa currently is your favorite campaign excellent awesome i hope to dive into that one very soon next up we've got webbed up so this is hero form only, so attached to an enemy, max one per enemy. And then basically it says that it cancels the first activations and then it stuns the character. Which is kind of funny because I don't love this card in Spider-Man. It can be nice for like a big minion or something like that. But you kind of want the villain to be attacking you and we'll get into that here in a second. We've got Spider Tracer, which helps with some threat when it, you attach it to a minion. And then when the minion is defeated, you remove th uh, three threat from a scheme. And one of Spider-Man's biggest weaknesses is threat mitigation. And so this one will be coming in handy. We've got Backflip, which is probably one of my favorite cards in the entire game. It's a zero cost offense. When you take any amount of damage from an attack, prevent all that damage. My goal tonight is to play Backflip on a 
nine encounter or nine boost card venom attack i just think that that's going to be a ton of fun to try and then we've got aunt may or as we like to call her on the channel aunt bay so it's exhaust aunt may heal four damage from peter parker insanely good value and so there are some decks where you probably will want to pass on her but she is very good to get onto the table you're watching your very first playthrough on YouTube of Night of the Zealot with skids just before this. Okay, are you the one who helped me with the the rule for the uh, the quick action being able to spend multiple resources to to up that to up your skill test? I yeah okay thank you for that I appreciate it yeah definitely I uh yeah that <laughs> I've learned a lot about that game since that playthrough. <laughs> Backflip is like wiggle room, but no card draw. Yep. Yep. And I s Okay, so that being said, I have been playing a lot of Miss Marvel recently because that's who I picked for the solo champions league this last weekend Or this last uh, round and I think wiggle room is actually I like it more because you can recall it with with Miss Marvel as well as that card draw So it is a very strong card. So I probably like wiggle room better, but backflip kind of is what led me into loving protection Especially after the 1.4 rules update where they stated anything with that defense keyword actually counts as defending. So. So, yeah. Excellent. Okay. So, that's his kit. We'll take a look at Spider-Man. So, Peter Parker in alter ego form has a genius traded, which we just got a really good card for genius, which is ingenuity. And so, I... I don't know if I would build a deck without Ingenuity at this point, which is a basic upgrade that costs one and it generates a mental resource and you can play it if you're a genius. I don't know if I would ever build a deck with Spider-Man without that. I may try one tonight just to just to do it because I know not everyone has access to that card and it's pretty easy to swap in like a Quinn Carrier or something for that. But um, really the, the benefit in the Quinn Carrier is generating the wild resource and you have that with your web shooters and in the kit and so really ingenuity is just you know a very effective very effective cost he also has the scientist um, ability that says generate a mental resource once per round and when i first started this game i thought that was the most amazing ability of all time it is it's good <laughs> it's, it's, there are definitely better alter ego abilities and in his hero form he is a one two three stat line with 10 hit points, hand size of 5, and a spider sense. So it says whenever the villain initiates an attack against you, you get to draw one card. And so this is why I don't necessarily love running the webs up in a solo campaign. Because your your its effective cost is basically too higher. Because you're paying 4, so 5 effective costs. So 4 for the cost, 1 for the card. That's 5. And then you're missing out on 2 card draws. And so it's basically a 7 cost card for two activations he already has a three defense and so i you know i i don't know yeah hero with the six hand size is very good so yeah so it, it's exciting i am so excited i i have not played spider-man in forever i've i've been kind of hoping that this either popped up in the in the the rankings so if you're unfamiliar i do have people vote on who i'm playing next and so i was really fortunate in order to get one of my favorite heroes or that solo league was gonna was gonna up it or have them have it as a hero to play but alrighty how's everyone doing how is everyone doing happy Monday if you are in the states we got today off well, I got today off of work so I was fortunate about that I was happy I got to do I got to play Spirit Island so I always play Spirit Island I uh um, oh shoot um yeah so that that was fun we won handily we we kind of went with an easier just because we didn't want to we didn't want to die just <laughs> burn our brains out too bad but so we we got to do that that was a ton of fun and then just been doing some filming and everything and so having a good time alrighty so we're gonna start out with aggression we're gonna play four games each of them are gonna be against venom venom does have a required standard set of symbiotic strength and then I will, I'm playing standard, just to make it not super insane. And then throughout each game, I will rotate the modular set. And this one, I went with Hydra Assault. 
and really it's because I've been through a process of switching out all of my card sleeves from these Ultra Pros to the to the uh, Dragon Shield, and it, it's been a while since I've started that process, and so I was looking through the modular sets on what were still in the Ultra Pros, and I decided I hadn't played those in a while, so might as well try them out. So we're running Hydro Assault against the aggression aspect. So like I said, um, whenever I start the deck building, I kind of like to take cards that I would look to take out of the hero's deck. And so in that case, it's going to be the three, three resource cards as well as ingenuity. And then we'll kind of look through there. So let me go ahead and grab those. And that's gonna get us started. Ah, yes, Hydra, a natural ally for Venom. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you know, it's it's a different Earth or something. <laughs> um, I do, yeah. I wanna I wanna do something that's like a like a thematic thematic Thursday or something. I don't know. Some some that'd be that'd be fun to do. Oh, where's my eyes? Ingenuity. Yep, so Ingenuity, this came in Riri's kit, so play only if your identity has the genius trait and then max one per player, and then you can exhaust Ingenuity to generate a mental resource. So there's that, now we have 20, 24 cards to work with. So we got allies, we're gonna wanna put probably a good amount of allies in here because we want to be you. We want to be attacking and we do still get that card draw if an ally defends for us and so we're probably going to want a couple or a, a pretty good amount of low cost allies so that we can take that hit now in like a protection build that would not be the case but we are going with aggression so we want to be ready going into our into our um into our phase or into our hero phase and so we want to be thinking about that. So looking at just kind of the low cost allies, we want to grab Hulk because he can maybe tank more than one attack from a villain. Definitely more than one from a minion. I always love Throg, especially with the Hydra Assault because we probably are going to be having some minions engaged with us. Spider Girl is always going to be fun. I really wish the Locust worked for here. Oh, you made this joke before. But you and I play the Hulk ally so differently. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I was actually playing through a game with with my wife. And so I'm trying to get her into the game. And she was running aggression. And and I she she has Hulk in her deck. And it is so chaotic. Because she's just like, yeah, we're gonna swing it. I'm like, okay, let's go, let's try it. Let's <laughs> let's see what happens. And it usually ends up fine, but I'm, I'm usually a more cautious player. Strange solution, you have been playing Spider-Man wrong. Okay, yeah, well, good, 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 good learning, yep. So it, the the wording says that when the, um, th when the villain initiates the attack, and so at that point, anyone can step in that can be an ally or another teammate. If another teammate steps in and takes your hit, then you still get that card draw. The catch there is that if you step in for a teammate, like if you're playing multiplayer and I step in for my for another hero, I do not get the card draw at that point because the villain's attack has already been initiated. So you can really kind of get that block and the card draw and just still be chump blocking. So. It's a, it's a really strong ability. It's a really, really strong ability. We got Bug. We got Marvel Boy. I think Marvel Boy. We may pull him out. We may go Wasp. I don't think... I don't know. I, Wasp scares. I still <laughs> I still call it Spider-Man who does not defend his allies. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's very fair. We're going we're gonna, to... Let's take a look at some of our basic cards. Probably should have done this first just to be safe. But we've got. Ooh, we, we have access to Moon Girl here. We are definitely gonna run Moon Girl. Moon Girl will be in the deck. So if if you're not familiar with Moon Girl, she also came in, I think it was Riri's deck, that says play only if your identity has the champion or genius trait. 
And then after you play Moon Girl from your hand, draw one card for each mental resource you use to pay for her. Now they did come out and clarify that you cannot overpay for Moon Girl and draw nine cards, which is a fair and sad ruling, but uh, you can still draw three cards. It's basically a one cost ally. And we definitely want to run Riri. I want to tie, tie those together. Um, we got two, four, six. I'm trying to think. We, we got six. We're running 40 cards. We have a six card hand. So maybe one more. One more. And we're going to go another red ally just so I don't flood the deck with some basic allies because I probably want to be running some power ofs aggression. You know what? Bug always seems fun. I feel like bug sounds like a good time. Alrighty, so okay, so we've 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 picked up a lot of allies. So two, four, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. So we still have 14 spots, which is great. So let's let's look through here. And let's see if we can play into Spider-Man's strengths. So Spider-Man wants to be attacked. And so there is toe-to-toe, -to -toe, which is choose an enemy. That enemy attacks you. And then you deal five damage to that enemy. So this initiates his card draw. So you can have him attack and draw that card and deal five damage. And so we're going to be running some toe-to-toes, probably... Let's, let's grab two, and we can see if we can throw the third one in there here in a second. One other thing is, that's kind of fun uh, with this Spider-Man versus, like, the Miles Spider-Man is that I don't want to be stunning the villain. I mean, like, there, there are some times where you do want to be, but that's kind of, you know, handicapping his, his ability. And so, like, Miles is all about stunning, really wants to get that stuns and those confuses out there. Whereas Peter doesn't, wants to kind of be attacked. He has the defense to kind of block for him. And so, I'm going to try and avoid a lot of the cards that do the stuns in all of these games. All right. I do like... Okay, so one other thing. So we've got we've got so many resource generators. So we've got two web shooters, which are limited resource generators. We've got Ingenuity. We have Genius on Peter's side. And so that right there is five. One thing to think about, and I think that there are some decks that could benefit from this, is you've got one two, three, four, five superpower cards. And so I think Death Focus could be in play here. I'm probably going to not be running it right now. Just, 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 uh, I have a lot of, I have a lot of cards in there already, but I think I probably will run a Marshall Prowess just because those swinging web kits can be pretty expensive. That also pays for the toe to toes. Maybe I, you know, it's hard. It's it's hard. Um, we'll come back to it. One of Spider-Man's weaknesses is threat mitigation. And because we do have access to a pretty solid Alter Ego kit, not necessarily just ability, but now a kit for him in Alter Ego, we do want to be making sure that we are going to be able to take care of some threat. And so chase them down is really solid for, for that. And so we're going to be running at least two of those. Uh, we're going to run a crew quarter because we'll, we're will we going to be running wanting to jump down. So that's good. Um, so we got two chase them downs. We'll probably run three. Just because you want to have it. <laughs> You want to be able to play chase them down when you need to play chase them down because it says after your hero attacks and defeats an enemy then you get to remove to it uh remove two threat from a scheme <laughs> crew quarters are as i like to call it worse aunt may you know that's a really good point actually <laughs> like you do have aunt may and you're flipping down you definitely you don't need crew quarters in this deck you're so yeah because like, if, if you flip down, you have 8 heal from Aunt May. Crew Quarters would put you to 10, meaning that you would be dead if you needed all of it. So, nope, I agree with you. Probably probably no Crew Quarters.
and his kit is just so good i mean it's fine i just find but totally i mean like there are so many cards in this game now that every single spot is very precious and so if you don't need to if you don't need it you know get it out of there get it out of there i need so i need four reds and two I also sorted these, and so now it's a lot easier. Hey, ladies, man, how you doing? Welcome, happy to have you here. We are playing Spider-Man, one of my favorite heroes of all time. I'm going to, I, I need to figure out some sort of cadence to, to make my top five hero videos. Maybe it's on like a yearly basis or something because they definitely change. Because especially because of how many heroes we are getting, it, it changes so, so much. So, but I, I think Spider-Man is always going to have at least a special spot in my heart just because I've played so much Spider-Man just as I was starting to get in there. Whenever you start spotlights on F tier heroes, I'm gonna be so ready for <laughs> F minus tier heroes. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, oh man. Okay, so we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So we have nine more cards. We want power ofs. We're gonna grab two power of aggressions. Spider-Man, not a web warrior makes me sad. Same, same. What are your thoughts on the web warrior fix for Spidey coming in the Spider-Hand pack? I wish it was better. And, and the problem is, is that if you are building a deck that requires web warrior traded, a web warrior traded hero, and you draw those cards before you draw your fix, then you're you're kind of, a, you know, up a creek. But it, 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 it's I, I don't know it's weird um so it's like I kind of wanted wanted it to be like a setup or something or maybe like a I, I don't know how they would have done it but I, I feel like you're probably going to have to run 3x meaning two of them are dead cards but you are just going to need to draw it really soon either that or that we'll see more cards like web of life and destiny where it is you know just a benefit to have the web warrior trait and not necessarily a requirement so it's like the beatles without linen bulls without jordan yep but thematically it could be funny it's like the og web warrior got excavated <laughs> that's true <laughs> does a one of into the fray help with threat mitigation i i love it yep that's exact i was i was thinking that i think maybe even two so it's like a permanent setup right would have been better but I don't know how they would have done that because I feel like a permanent setup card that costs zero would have been really strong. So it's I yeah it's like I don't know I don't I don't know how you I don't know how you do it I, I'm sure that the designers who are way smarter than I am could have figured it out but but yeah. Now Spider Man is a rogue web warrior who sold out to the Avengers. Miles and Gwen could go. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, he had bigger things. He he fought Thanos. He's in the Avengers. It's a band. Um, so we're going to grab some plan of attacks just because swinging web kick is so good and we're probably going to want to grab some of those, but yes, also I do like into the fray. I think I already had, yeah, I already had the eyes out, but into the fray. So this is deal six damage to a minion for each point of excess damage. Remove one threat from the main scheme could be really solid. Alrighty, I, I think we've only added four, so two, four, six, eight, ten. We're gonna make stacks of ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so we've we've got three spots left. We've got three three spots left. We could go looking for trouble. I don't know if I love it. Um we could go two surprise attacks because we are gonna be wanting to flip fairly frequently. If we go two X surprise attacks and then maybe Maybe Martial Prowess. I think that could be could be the play. Is anything else step or popping out to y'all as as a as a solution for us? Um 
I also like to just flip into the, the gray cards just to make sure I'm not missing anything super obvious. Hmm. Hmm. Could no, I, I I would prefer Martial Prowess over Death Focus. Since you generate so many science resources, hone technique, you are a genius, my good man. Yes, absolutely. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run with Steve's advice here. So beat the game reached out to me and suggested that if you are gonna be running a hone technique type build to go ahead and run two or three copies so you can draw into it fairly quickly. But excellent call. Okay, so with that, swinging web kick does not benefit from a hone technique, but like toe to toe does. I'm thinking, I'm wondering if we grab a bigger attack like maybe a maybe an uppercut I'm thinking I'm thinking we could do uppercuts piercing strike is actually kind of interesting just because of venom's tough and it would be a five for two maybe that wasn't a good idea I mean it, why not right it's it's fun it's fun We'll, we'll modify just slightly for it. We, uh, I think, go three for eight with uppercut or five for two with piercing strike. I don't think I've played piercing strike in a long time and that may be because it's not super great. It's so, I like clobber. Clobber could be interesting. Mm. Melee is also an, an interesting choice, but they're mm, they're really we do have the enraged symbiote, uh, but yeah, I mean, so that I mean that could work really well with the enraged symbiote to to kind of break up that damage. Or actually, shoot, what about a one by one? It's four, three. Two, two, four, three. I think one by one. You know what? We're gonna try it. So two damage. If this uh, attack defeats an enemy, deal two damage to an enemy, which would be three and three. I feel like if you're running home technique, you need to be running some high cost, some high cost events. So let's uh let's go melee. No, actually, we're going to go uppercut. We're going to go uppercut because it's effectively just another swinging web kick that I can pay for more easily. I'm, I'm looking at M's for uppercut. Okay, yeah, so I like that. I like that. That's fun. That's fun. We're gonna run two X Hone techniques, so I think I need to call one card, which may be one X chase him down, but I don't want to may cut the plan of attacks and just draw into them. We do have a fairly good card draw, so that's not gonna be a huge issue. So two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4. So we got one more card. And I'm thinking just... Maybe another Hone Technique. Just to get it onto the table. But instead, I'm going to... Dive bomb. No. <laughs> uh, dang the OG attack event, right? Yep. 
We're we're doing it. We are doing it. Just uppercut right there. Who is that on the in the art? Do you does anyone know who that is? I have no idea. I could not tell you who that is. Boot camp actually may be interesting here, right? Because I'm running a ton of allies. I'm gonna use my allies for thwarting, I think though, so. Mm. We're gonna go 2x clobber. Hercules? Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Where's my clobber? And because I have to be the way I am, we'll cut out one card, which we will cut out if I chase them down. All right, so that leaves us with two chase them downs. Okay. So there's the deck, two clobbers, two uppercuts, two chase them downs. Who is Hercules hitting though? It's not just some, I don't know. He has some, he has some crazy hair. Then again, it doesn't look like an uppercut. It looks more like a haymaker. It absolutely does look like a haymaker. <laughs> we got our resources in here. along with ingenuity. 2x home technique to hopefully draw into it sooner. Uh, Steve suggested to run three, which I think probably is the right call if you're building a deck entirely around home technique, whereas this one is kind of a mixed bag, so I'm not super sad if I don't draw it for the first couple of turns. We've got two, four, six, seven, eight allies, which are all pretty low cost, and those are gonna be the ones taking the hits for us. We got toe to toe into the fray to help with threat and then more money to pay for stuff. Here we go. Here we go. It's Spider-Man time. Ooh. We are supposed to get in 11 days. I think we're supposed to get the spider ham and spider. And so I believe there will be one hero spotlight between now and then. And so Go vote for who we want to see next, but we may get we may get a couple of a couple of uh, heroes jumping the line here for for a little bit to to get the new ones into play. I'm really excited for Spider Pam. I am cautiously optimistic about um, Spider. I think. She looks hard. She looks hard. So. Which, uh, what are you all excited for of the two? Are you ex more excited for Spider or Spider Ham? I'm gonna make a poll. But after I shuffle. Whichever is closer to D tier, I'm you're more excited for. <laughs> so not Spider Ham. Spider Ham almost, I think, has a very good case just from me not playing him, but me just looking at his cards to be the strongest hero in the game. I think he he could easily make it. Can I answer you with the X Men instead? Yeah. Which uh, which X Men are you most excited for? Where do we put the votes in again? I'm about to make it. I was just, I was being lazy. Lazy. Ugh. My keyboard's all the way over here and it just, I need to, I need to pull one over here so I don't have to move. But let me manage pull. New pull. Alrighty, so three minutes poll has been started it should pop up honestly the less power creep the better but it's inevitable yeah yeah i i almost want to think that they just kind of put him in there just for i mean they released him on or they announced him on april fool's day and i'm okay having heroes that are 
absurdly powerful and heroes that are, are not as. I think that that is fine just because it is a cooperative game. And so I'm okay with that. All right, let's see if we can get our mulligan in before our timer runs out. Alrighty, so, oh, we've got a lot. Oh, we've got a hone technique right off the bat and a power of to pay for the, um, to pay for that. We got an Aunt May. We got a backflip and a into the fray. So we're going to toss backflip and into the fray. We don't need those today. Or <laughs> need those right now. We definitely will need them today, but we're not going to need them in the first round. Um, because this is only a minion and this after an attack. And I don't want to plan on drawing into a hone technique or a uh, toe to toe. We got a web shooter and then we've got a bug. Honestly, this is a really solid hand. I think we're going to get hone technique out. Uh, we could have Aunt May pay for hone technique. Or not, sorry, Aunt, yeah. Uh, you voted for Spider mainly because of the, the get ready for over here. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Currently Cyclops with Colossus very close second. Yeah, I, I am really excited and impressed with how they are working to fix these heroes. Like Hulk and... But I think Drax is just going to be absurdly powerful now. Drax is just going to be so, so good. Currently Cyclops with Colossus very close second. I I need to play Cyclops because he feels like he's trying to do, to do two different things with the allies and with the, the tactics cards. But Colossus, I am the most excited for. It feels bad not to get Ant May onto the table, but we may just grab her on a second deck pass and call it good there. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. So we're gonna use genius to put a web shooter down. I do have this fancy dancy uh, by the same token tokens for the web shooter. So we're gonna be using those. So that comes with three. Um, okay, yep, we'll toss Aunt May and a power up to play home technique. And then we will toss an energy for bug. We will flip up to hero form got that we need this okay the oh okay so we're most excited for spider with a hundred percent votes so that's good do you guys think we'll get juggernaut as a colossus nemesis i yeah probably i, I think that would be a, a solid nemesis for him um oh yeah that would be cool if he just got his own couldn't you use your web shooter to play ant may i needed to I was short one resource, right? So this is my hand. Um, so I don't think I could have. So I have one to throw the web shooter down. Goes here. Then power of, all right, let's energy for bug. He comes in and then I could hold on to Aunt May, but I don't really want to hold on to Aunt May, right? Um, so I can I, I flipped up and I tossed Aunt May rather than using the web shooter, and mainly that's because I want to cycle the deck. I'm okay getting Aunt May later. I can I can get the um, I can get there eventually, but also um, I want to hold on to this to fulfill the requirement of a mental resource if I ever do not have that in my hand. So that was kind of my thoughts. Save Aunt May. I should save Aunt May, are you sure? Aunt May is good, I guess, okay, fine. I'll save Aunt May. I'll flip up the hero, use my web shooter to play home technique, and then I'll hang on to Aunt May. <laughs> oh, never mind. I like the mental thing. I do have a, I'm just gonna look real quick, but I do have a fairly good, I did stack the deck with a good amount of mental, so I think I'm probably okay. And I do have another web shooter, so let, let's let's roll with it and see what happens. Um, but, and then we all, we're also gonna get ingenuity at some point. Peter Parker discarding Aunt May. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I just created his own story, right? So we're going to thwart one with bug off of leave us alone. 
and then we'll go ahead and thwart one with spider-man as well so the reason yeah so so i'm looking at this Th threat's gonna be my biggest issue right and i could sit here and like heal bug with a basic attack from spider-man but bug is going to be stepping in in front of villains attack anyways so we're just gonna call it a day okay so we will ready up we got toe to toe uppercut backflip oh we got backflip huge and black cat so two four five there we go so starting out we're gonna place one threat here on the main scheme venom is going to attack for two and we're actually not going to step in because we got spider-man's ability so the villain initiates an attack so i get to draw a card into webbed up which is hilarious um okay yep and then we got venom attacking for two plus a star if this activation is attack it gets plus two boost icons and it gains overkill so now i'm really glad that i didn't have bug step in so that's four so we will go ahead and play backflip to prevent all of that damage then our bad card is lashing out so after venom takes in any amount of damage from an attack remove an equal amount of threat from here this comes in with an acceleration token again you're not supposed to place it but i will never remember if i don't place it there okay cool side schemes exactly what you want um also for for those who have not played venom yet or have not played it in a while so venom does have toughness and then it says after you attack and damage venom with a card you control place one face down boost card on your identity and basically whenever he activates against you you move all the boost cards to him and so he's going to be racking up a ton of boost cards and then we have the bell tower which is the environment that we're playing and it says that if there are at least three chime crowners here flip this card and then when any damage would be dealt to venom by an attack place that many chime counters here instead and then when you flip he takes one extra damage and it's basically a buffer for your health so what i like to do is try and get get this to two and then i want to come in and swing web kick and try and uh put it like maybe to like 10 and then i have a huge buffer and, and then i really like to pick just pick him off from there so that that's kind of the strategy that i've been running with against venom okay so we've got an uppercut we're gonna webbed up black cat web shooter to play uppercut uh actually no before that he has tough he has tough <laughs> um so we will uh we will just swing it to knock this tough off here when we do that we get to heal a damage from bug because after you make a basic attack heal one damage from bug web kicking a bell sounds painful not gonna lie it probably would break some toes <laughs> definitely we will attack with bug but instead we're gonna put a chime counter on the bell counter or the bell tower then we're gonna web shooter black cat webbed up and play uppercut so deal five damage to an enemy because we paid for it with a mental resource which we utilized the web shooter to do so it gets to add its cost so that's eight damage and we're just going to instead throw that onto the bell counter so two four six eight who do we appreciate we flip over so increase the damage that venom takes by all attacks by one and we have a buffer of nine so once we take nine damage that will flip back over and we'll be good which is another reason that maybe ant may isn't necessary in this scenario but um we will go ahead and toss toe to toe for Ant may just get it out there so we'll need it eventually and that'll be that so we will stand up we got a hulk ally a moon girl which means we're probably rolling down an iron heart a spider tracer and an uppercut okay okay interesting so we're gonna place two here on the main scheme this is the acceleration token venom is going to attack um buck should have a damage 
Uh, Venom is going to attack for two plus a boost card. We will draw a card, which is a strength. And you do get to draw the card before you resolve the attack. So if you drew into a backflip, you can immediately use it. Unfortunately, both backflips are in my discard pile, but just, just an order of operations thing. Okay. Um... Yep, Bug has one damage on him. Yep, thank you. He tried to ring the bell. <laughs> um, okay, so we are actually... We're actually going to defend this. So he's attacking for two. And the reason I'm doing this is because I know that there are going to be bigger attacks later that I'd rather Bug step in and take. And so we're going to defend for three. So attacking for two plus one, we take zero damage. And any excess damage would come off the bell. Anyways, okay. So our bad card is Advance the Villain Schemes. That's not good. So it's going to be one plus two is three. And this is where Spider-Man has some issues. <laughs> is that threat. So. Oh, no. Am I going to just threat out right now? No. Okay. So on my turn, let's go ahead and get Ironheart into the fray. Ironheart's going to come out. That allows us to draw a card, which is Clobber, which does not help us here. Oh, no. Um, I don't think I I don't think I can justify rolling down with six on the main. It's going to go up to eight. He, he would scheme out. And I don't have anything that can prevent that. So we are going to stay up into the hero farm. And we cannot play Moon Girl now because we don't have the genius or champion trait. And so what we're going to do is just have some fun. We may hang on to the Hulk and Spider Tracer, Clobber, and Moon Girl to throw an uppercut at Venom for eight plus nine because we're on ringing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, down to eight. Yeah, for a genius and a scientist, he can be kind of dumb, can't he? <laughs> That's funny. Um, and then he took nine damage, or he he took eight damage, and so this is down to one. And we get a boost card. We'll just give it to him because it's a solo game. We will have Riri go ahead and just hit him for two. We'll get a second boost card here. And hopefully not get overkill, but I think... I don't know how many of those there are, but, and then that's going to take care of this and this. Nope, that's not how that works. We're going to hang on to bug. We're going to, we're going to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Alrighty, so we will, we'll ready. Ready. We will... Hang on to Hulk. We got another home technique. Don't need it. Enhanced spider sense. That that could be really solid if we draw an advance here. We got two of them. Um, and Spider Girl. Okay, so two, four, five. Perfect. Where are my resource generators? Need them. So we're going to place one here on the main scheme because we got rid of that pesky acceleration token. Venom is going to be coming and swinging at us for two plus three boost cards. We'll have re re defend. So it's going to be two, four. If you are in hero form, the villain attacks you after this activation. Do not deal any boost cards for that attack, which is actually excellent. Which is actually excellent. I forgot. I do get to draw the card, which is a clobber. And then Riri doesn't make it. And Venom is going to attack me. Initiate another attack. So I do get to draw another card. And I'm just going to let this one go through undefended because it's just two. <laughs> That's actually a huge boon. So now I'm rolling in with two, four, six, seven cards that's 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 incredible i love that's that's amazing all right so our our next card and we do have a treachery cancel up oh okay so now we're angry attached to venom two rage counters he gains overkill then after venom takes any amount of damage from an attack remove one rage counter from here okay uh actually i don't even take the damage so this goes up i'm back up and i just removed two of these time counters that's how the game works.
Okay, so first things first, we're going to toss an enhanced spider sense and a hone technique to play clobber. So we did pay for it with a mental resource, and so this is gonna deal three plus two plus one, and so that is five damage uh, to Venom. Taking him down to one, we remove one of these rage counters and give him a boost card. Clobber gets to come back to our hand. We still have a five card hand, which is excellent. Um, we'll swing. We'll take this rage counter from here. We'll give him another boost counter and we'll push him into stage two. But the swing does heal bug for one. So he comes in with toughness and steady, which means that he requires two, um, two encounter cards to become stunned or confused. Even Gamora kicking a symbiote, so that's on theme. <laughs> Where'd you see that? Even has Gamora kicking a symbiote. Okay. For clobber. Oh yeah, yeah. He <laughs> that that's perfect. I love it. Ha, nice. Uh so we will go ahead and attack with bug, dealing an additional oh wait, no, actually he doesn't take any damage because he's tough, so he does not get the boost card. Uh oh, and I uh, I missed a win revealed. So search the encounter deck and discard power for tooth and nail side scheme and put it into play. Ah, that was the top card. So this says that after Venom takes any amount of damage from an attack, remove an equal amount of threat from here. It comes in with eight. So the by the same token people, which I highly recommend, they just put out that they have like threes and fours of these counters, and I am I'm probably gonna grab those because I'm not even putting the right type of counters on there. But I do find myself needing you know a, a pack of a couple of those. So they, they just put out a ton of new stuff where it's like, um, like all the tune counters and just everything for all the new waves. So looks really cool. Looks really good. Okay. Definitely want to get rid of that because that is less appealing. I need to figure out how to get, take care of threat, y'all. Because we're at two, four, six, seven out of 10. And honestly, it may just be a rush down. He's at 18 hit points now. I just hope that we don't draw an advance. Uh, we do have an enhanced spider sense, which I think I'm going to actually hang on to just because of that. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use a web shooter and throg to play clobber again. So that's going to do six more damage to him, taking him down to 12. And then I don't like this situation, but I also don't, I, I, I think I need to hang on to enhance spider sense. So, okay, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna toss those two cards. We're gonna hopefully win next turn. That's the that's the goal. <laughs> so we got swing wide kip. Hey, look at that. There's our first one, chase them down. Look, her threat mitigation, Marvel boy and spider tracer. All the threat mitigation. We also haven't seen any minions, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and he gets another boost card. Alright, so we are going to go up to 8. And I did 6, so this is down to 2. So he's going to initiate an attack, which means I get to draw a card. Hey, there's Ingenuity. Remove 6 star from Tooth and Nail. Thank you. And he's going to attack for 2. We will have Bug step in front of this one. So 2, uh, remove 1 Chime counter from the bell. Um, 
If you're in hero form, the villain attacks you after this activation. Sweet. Um, and then put Enraged Symbiote into play engaged with us. And so he really only, or he only did three. Yeah. Okay, so three, Bug does die. Then Venom is going to initiate a attack against us. So we get to draw another card, which is a web shooter. And then we were just going to take it, remove two chime counters. And then Enraged Symbiote is going to attack us and we will just take the two damage. This bell tower does specifically say when Venom's attack would do anything. So. Okay. So we've got two encounter cards. The first one being Advanced. This is why we held on to it. This is why we held on to it. Alrighty. So we've got. Let's do some math here. I don't know if we have kill. <sighs> 10. Swing wet kip does eight. Yes, yeah, so we have kill in our hand. And so if we can pay for it. Um, okay, yep. So we will chase them down to play enhanced spider sense. So we're going to cancel the wind revealed effects of advance. Oh, that was close. And then assault. Uh, the villain attacks you. So we are going to draw a card. Yep, power of aggression. Okay. And the villain is attacking us. Does Venom have 12 health? I think you have eight health left. You're right. Thank you. Villain attacks us. Okay, so let me... Marvel Boy can take out the Enraged Symbiote. Swing White Kip does... Kick does nine to Venom. Which leaves us with three to be desired. I oof. which would be my basic attack. Okay, so I think we have to risk it here. So we're gonna go two. Put enraged symbiote into play. Engage with us. That is not good. That's another guard patrol. Uh, that's probably game right there. Um, so two comes off here. Oh no. Again, I I set it up front. I said that that threat's gonna be gonna be the death of us, and here we are. Here we are. I mean, we can we can still we can we may still be able to do it. It's gonna be close. We got rid of both of our advances, I think. Yeah, so both of our advances are gone. So there is that. So let's go ahead and throw a power of aggression in there for a Marvel Boy. Marvel Boy will go ahead and just shoot this enraged symbiote. And take a damage. Spider-Man will swing at this enraged symbiote, which will kill him. And then we will toss these three for a swing web kick. Web kick to deal nine damage to Venom, taking him down to three. Just remove threat. No, that's crazy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What's up? I think we have it actually, um, right? So we'll just let an undefended attack come in against us. We have two swinging web, web kicks in these cards, in these seven cards. So we're gonna draw one. As, um, and so we, we, I don't, I don't recall if there's another one in there that it causes Venom to scheme. But even if we don't flip this, we, I think we win. So. It, uh, we'll, we'll see. It's going to be close. <laughs> it's going to be close. I'll tell you that much. So we got two, four, five. We've got a genius and into the fray, toe to toe, chase them down and a swinging web kick. So we do have death in our hand. So we will go ahead and place the ninth out of 10 right there. Then it was going to attack us for two plus uh, two. We'll, we'll, we're going to grab our third swinging web kick and we are going to... I don't see any reason why we don't just take this to the face. Health is a resource. Just make sure to remember to remove tooth and nail because he took damage. Thank you very much. Yep, so we're just going to take it. So it's going to be star. You are stunned. If you are already stunned, take two damage. 
And then if this card resolves during an undefended attack, discard a support you control. Bye bye, Amp A. So I take two damage and I am stunned. And then we've got our encounter card, which is Shadows of the Past. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we get to see it. <laughs> so we got Vulture who comes in with Quick Strike. We got Highway Robbery <laughs> with three. <laughs> and then we're going to shuffle uh, the, these into the encounter deck. But actually, you know, it doesn't really matter at this point. Because we're just going to take the three damage. So we're down to five. We're stunned, but that's fine. So we'll go ahead and exhaust this. Toss the stunned, and we will swing web kick our way into victory. That is what we would call close, and we'll uh, we'll chase them down to remove two threat from here. <laughs> that that I mean that that's too close for comfort for me. I would want to build more threat mitigation into this deck if I was to go at it again. The other thing to kind of think about is that all three of our swinging web kicks were in the bottom 13 cards. And so there was potential to finish them off sooner. We just weren't there. Like our resource generations and our swinging web kicks were at the bottom. And so just, I still think that the deck needs a little bit more threat mitigation. Um, maybe build into like having into the phrase and then like an angel and looking for troubles and stuff like that to bring them out to utilize them. But it was close. It was very, very close. But what do we want to see next? What do we want to? What? What? Uh, what? What? Uh, what aspect do we want to see next? I'm going to create a. Uh, what do we call them? Poll. A poll. I'm going to create a poll. I'm going to go to the beat right back screen. I'll be back in just a couple minutes, and vote for what you all want to see next. Mm -hmm.